Time Hotels expands its footprint with six new properties in the pipeline. We signed two during the pandemic, one in Egypt in the new capitals, actually two months ago, and one in Oman in the Sohar area. So it's, it's working well. I mean, we have six in pipelines, some opening soon. I have really positive feeling for Expo since day one. I mean, Expo, it's something um, very good, not only for Dubai. It's, I believe it's for whole Middle East. I think Expo will start slowly, but by end of the year, it will become very strong. Because, I mean, we have to think it's not because people cannot, uh, don't want to come, because they cannot come. There is a lot of countries still closed. There are a lot of countries they don't allow you to travel. And this is what makes people not coming. But once this open, Expo will be very strong. And I expect that between November, December this year. And uh, we are ready for it. I mean, our hotels, we are doing even a special promotion, a special packaging for the, for, for the people coming for Expo. UNWTO praises the GCC to rebuild its travel and tourism mobility. This region is a very special one and it's an important one as well in terms of rebuilding not just travel and tourism mobility but confidence. This is an incredibly exciting time because it not only is an opportunity for people to reconnect with one of the most important international events but it gives people confidence that there's something on the horizon that's going to have us traveling again, have us investing again and have us connecting once again. Dubai is in a beautiful place of inspiring the world that today to now is the time to reconnect with the world through Dubai. Equally, what His Highness the Crown Prince has done in Saudi Arabia is remarkable in positioning travel and tourism at the core of Vision 2030, recognizing the power of sustainable tourism development to really engage the kingdom with the world economically, culturally, environmentally and socially. This is very important. So it really is lovely to see how the region, across all of the members of the GCC and even beyond, are appreciating the power of themselves as a regional travel community and the difference, yet connectivity, of the propositions themselves. Gulf Air launches its commercial operations to Israel with a twice-a-week service to Tel Aviv. Ishraq Hospitality opens its newest upscale hotel in Dubai, holiday in Dubai Al Maktoum Airport. Emirates and South African Airways reactivate its partnership to boost connectivity.